Hello, so Q School, we have some lists, we have some entries, we have a list of players who are going to be entered into Q School uh, confirmed as well. So for the UK Q School, there are 343 players confirmed so far, and for the rest of the world Q School, uh, there is 214 entrants. So let's have a look at the lists. I want to go through some players who I know or who I've seen um, who are capable of doing well at Q School, and we're going to have a look through, and uh, I want to give you an idea of who to look out for when it comes to Q School 2020. So if you go onto the Darts Connect website, you'll be able to find this list yourself. But if you look at the screen, I'm going to go through some of the players and stuff. So if you see here, I've got a list of all of the entries uh, for the UK Q School and also a list of all of the entries for the, uh, for the rest of the world Q School. So we start off with the UK Q School. I picked out a few players who I think could do, could do some stuff. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at them. Okay, so starting at the top, Sergio Asada. I think he's a good pick for Q School. Done well in the World Championships. Always does well, really, Asada. I think he's a good player. Probably quite capable of getting getting a tour card. So Sergio Asada is definitely going to be in my list. Um, Keen Barry, another good player. Did well at the Worlds. Didn't win a set, but he actually played quite well. He just recently today uh, won the World Youth as well in the BDO, beating uh, Leighton Bennett 3-0. So, good one to pick. Uh, Bradley Brooks, um, I've marked him plenty of times. He's a good player. Kevin Burness, again, um, played in the World Championships this year. Another good player. I've marked him plenty of times. Jamie Caven, coming back um, to Q School. If he has a good year, he's one of the best players there is when he's, when he's on form. Um, so, hopefully, if he can get his form back, Q School will be a doddle for him. Uh, be, I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on, actually. I really like Jamie Caven. Uh, Dan Daniel Day uh, from Essex. He played in, the, in a few of the big tournaments this year in the BDO. Done some bits. Good player. Um, Gary Eastwood. I've never marked for Gary, but I've seen him on the tour quite a few times. So he's, he's a good player. Good one to watch, watch out for. Um, Richie Edhouse is another one who played in the World Championships this year. Lost out to James Wade, but won his first game. Played quite well. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. Lee Evans. Now, I don't mean Lee Evans, the comedian. I mean Lee Evans, the dart player. I don't know what happened to Lee Evans. When when I was a referee, I used to always, I used to always watch Lee Evans' games and think, how are you not ranked higher? Um, and I don't know if it's just because he played well when I when I marked for him or what. I don't really know. But Lee Evans is is a good player, and I think he'll he could do quite well. Andrew Gilding, of course, we got the thumbs up. Andrew Gilding. Um, yeah, not much I can say about Andrew Gilding, just another great player. Uh, Robbie Green as well, he's making comeback. Just had a, um, some sort of operational I issues, I don't know, don't quote me on this, but I think he's had some sort of issues with his health issues and uh, he's now on his way back to playing darts, which is good. I like watching Robbie Green play, so it'd be interesting to see how he, how he gets on at Q School. <coughs> Damon Heater, um, yeah, again, another player. Looking forward to seeing how he gets on. He played well at the World Championships, um, he beat, who did he beat? He beat Jose de Sosa, and I thought that game would be closer than it was, and Damon just kind of outplayed him and played really well. So I think I think he's got a good chance of getting a tour card. Um, Peter the Rock Hudson, another good player, another ve very, very steady player. He won't lose to anyone who's worse than him, uh, if that makes sense. He's going to play a very steady game, and I think the games that he loses will be to people who just outplayed him. He doesn't lose very many low, lower standard games. He's always always on the ball. Um, yeah, Darren Johnson, another one, another one like Peter Hudson, where he's very, very capable and very, very steady as well. So he'll be tough to beat. I think a lot of people will struggle to beat Darren Johnson at Q School. Wayne Jones, of course. Uh, not much I can say about Wayne Jones. Um, always, he's been around for a very, very long time. A very good player. Uh, Jack Main, another young player coming up as well. Practices with Darren Webster quite a lot. Um, done well on the um, on the youth tour this year on the on the development tour. So Jack Main, another another good player. Kevin McDyne again, like Wayne Jones, just been around for a very long time. Very very good player. Alan Norris, I'm looking forward to seeing Alan Norris now. He's one of the ones I'm most excited to see how he gets on in Q School. Uh, he's had a really really tough 2019, um, but if he can if he can sort of play well, I think he'll get a tour card, no problem. <coughs> Uh, John O'Shea um, didn't have a very good World Championships in the BDO this year. Um, didn't play well at all, but he did win one of the other BDO, um, I think in the Masters or something. Um, played really well in that, so definitely another person who's capable. Uh, Colin Osborne, again, like Kevin McDyne and Wayne Jones. Someone who's been around for a very, very long time and is more than capable of, of turning over some of the youth players nowadays. Uh, some of the good, good youngsters coming through. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how, how he gets on. Um, Robert Owen as well. 
yeah, another good player. Uh, Kev Painter, Ryan Palmer, uh, James Richardson. Only just lost out his tour card at the World Championships. If he'd won one more game, he'd have kept his tour card. Uh, Jamie Robinson, someone who people don't speak about of very often, but I rate Jamie Robinson really highly, so be interesting to see how he gets on. And we've got a couple of the women here, Fallon Sherrick, of course, and uh, Su uh, Mikaru Suzuki. They're going to be very, very interesting. Uh, Fallon obviously had like the tournament of the lifetime recently. Um, PDC has been all Fallon Sherrick for the last couple of weeks. Uh, and then Mikaru Suzuki as well, played in two of the PDC tournaments recently. Um, also, she's going to be in the final of the women's later on tonight. So it'll be interesting to see how, see how she gets on against Lisa Ashton. I didn't see Lisa Ashton in the list, so I don't know if she's qualified, if she's entered or not yet. Um, Alan Tabin, another one who's just like an old plodder, been around the block a long time, knows how to grind out games of darts and really, really good player. So Alan Norris, um, <coughs> Alan Tabin, I mean, like Alan Norris. Uh, Ross Twell, one of my good friends, Ross. Um, I really, really hope he gets a tour card. Um, he's more than capable. He's, he's been winning a lot of tournaments locally in, in his in his area. So I'm really interested to see how he gets on, to be honest. Scott Waits. Scott Waits, obviously, only uh, lost lost this afternoon, I think, in the court of, in the semifinals. Was it the semifinals of the World Championships for the BDO? Um, I think he's another player who could, who could quite comfortably get himself a tour card. Uh, Mark Webster. I think Mark Webster will get a tour card. I... I would be surprised if he didn't. I think he's more than capable of getting a tour card. I, th I think he will. Uh, Mark Wilson, another person who I know on the tour. Really, really nice guy. Great player. Um, got his tour card two or three years ago. Obviously, must have lost it this year to be back at Q School because that's how it works. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how, how Mark gets on as well. Um, Brian Woods, another player who's been around for a very, very long time. And uh, yeah, good player. And then Yuki Yamada, lost to Darren Webster in the World Championships this year, but he beat Ryan Meikle in the first round. So he's more than more than capable player, <coughs> and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on. But on to the next list of players. Uh, this is the rest of the world Q School, um, and let's have a look at my picks. So Nico Bloom, um, seen his name a lot on the youth and stuff, good player. Same with Mike Dedeka, um, very, very good young player. Uh, looking forward to seeing how he gets on. Jeffrey does a graph as well. I don't know how old Jeffrey is anymore. Um, he's always been a young player in my eyes, but he's probably like my age, like 25, 26. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to seeing how he gets on. Uh, Ryan DeRees, or however you say his name, he's another player who's been around for like, seems to have been around for, for ages. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on. Adam Gorlis as well, only 17 years old. Uh, lost in the final to um, Luke Humphreys of the PDC World Youth. Good player. He also beat uh, Ryan Meikle the round before he lost as well. Same as Yuki Yamada, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see how he gets on. Jimmy Hendricks is another player who's been around for a, for a fair old while. Knows how to play the game. Nico Kurz. He was the, uh, the emerging youth player of this year's World Championships for me. Played really, really well. <coughs> beat some really, really good players in, in the in the tournament and I think he'll do well especially at the at the rest of the world huge school Chris Landman so he recently played in the P in the BDO world championships hit a 170 played some good darts that'll be interesting to see how he gets on uh Robert Marianovic another player who's been around for quite a while um I like I like uh seeing Robert play uh, he's got a YouTube channel as well so um yeah he, he does some really good stuff on YouTube uh uh Mario Robe Robe I guess that's what, that's what his name is. Marked him a few times. Good player. More than capable of getting a tour card. Owen Roloff. So he was one of the young, like, 15, 16 year olds when he first come up, who was really, really good. Uh, I did, hadn't seen his name for a couple of years. And then, like, the last few years, um, he has been on, like, the, the youth tour and stuff, the development tour and the PDC. And he, he, he's holding his own. So he's, he's capable of getting a tour card. Uh, Michael Unterbuckner, I think I said his name right. Another person who's been in the, in the BDO World Championships this year. He's been around the block quite a few times on the BDO circuits. Won a few tournaments here and there. Good player. More than capable of getting a tour card. Uh, Dirk van Duvenbode. <coughs> another player who's had the tour card and uh, I've marked for plenty of times. Good player. Uh, and Justin Van Sego. So he must be like 17 years old now, I reckon. Um, just old enough to enter this and... Yeah, he won the BDO Youth World Championships one year, a couple of years ago. Good player. So, yeah, that is my picks for Q School so far. Q School entries are still open until Tuesday at 2 p.m. UK time. So there might be some more additions to this list, but I thought I'd get it out there quick while it's fresh and while the uh, the list has been 
been on for not very long. So have a look through the list yourself. Let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to get tall cards at Q School. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me in. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still ill. But thanks for joining me in the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. Thanks, guys. See you later. Goodbye.